mTOR complex one is a, obviously from the name, it's a complex of proteins. So it's a bunch of different proteins that come together and it, it serves as a kinase. And what a kinase is, is an enzyme that decorates other proteins with little phosphate groups. And what a phosphate group is, is it's a negatively charged little tiny molecule. And what you do is you put that negative charge onto a neutral amino acid, serine, threonine, or tyrosine. And when you put a negative charge onto a neutral amino acid, you're gonna change the charge of the protein. And what would happen is, if you have a neutral amino acid that's kind of sitting together close to some negative amino acids, when you phosphorylate that neutral amino acid, now you've got a negative close to a negative, and what happens is it pushes the protein apart. And now what you've done is you've created a different shape to the protein. And if that happens around, say, the active site of a protein, now that enzyme is more active because the opening is more open. So the things that it's going to act on, so the, the, the small molecules that that protein is going to act on, whether it's to metabolize them, whether it's to change their activity or shape, now you've opened up this area and now it can, the protein can be more active. So mTOR complex one is a kinase. Other kinases that are important for exercise are things like the AMP activated protein kinase or AMP kinase. And that one, as the name suggests, is activated by how much AMP or ADP there is versus how much ATP there is. So when we're sitting at rest, we've got lots of ATP in our muscles and we have very little AMP or ADP. If we were to sprint or we were to do some really hard activity where we're using energy faster than we can produce it, now what happens is ADP and AMP rise, ATP will drop a little bit, and now the protein AMP kinase will bind to the ADP or AMP, and that'll change its ability to become active. And then it can decorate proteins with these little phosphate groups that make those other proteins negative. And a lot of the proteins that it makes negative are proteins that are designed in order to increase our ability to make energy. So things like acetyl-CoA carboxylase um, that regulates malonyl-CoA, that allows us to get more fat and use more fat as a fuel. It also will regulate proteins like um, that regulate glucose uptake into the muscle. So what it's doing is it's trying to, in AMP kinase, you've got a kinase that's trying to increase our ability to make new energy. And in mTOR complex one, you've got a protein that's trying to build the, the tissue.